streets is real. I'm come from a large family. I have like nine brothers. Out of the nine of them, six of them been shot with one dying. Okay, and my my son was shot four times in the chest and in the stomach, and he survived. But that's what drives me. Former gang member Mike Alexander explains the horrific reality of violence in Peoria. He now tours the city to reach out to the youth, even presenting graphic pictures of gunshot wounds to scare them straight. The way you represent your hood, you take your tail to school. Earlier this year, his nephew, 16-year-old Dominique Alexander, was shot and killed. 16-year-old Xavier Young is being tried as an adult for the murder. He was killed in his sleep in the Taft homes from the result of kids playing with guns, you know, so he wasn't a bad kid. And friends say neither was 17-year-old Dequarius Sims, shot and killed just last weekend in the Harrison homes. Alexander says he's trying to reach out to the kids while they're young and is pressuring the school district to teach students the judicial consequences of violence. I don't know they can be tried as an adult, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm here for. I'm here to pour back into my hood. Kids growing up in neighborhoods like the Taft Homes say sometimes they don't even have the luxury to run and play. Like, their parents don't want them outside because young kids getting killed and stuff. Makes them like there's no hope. That's all I know to go to or to get a gun. Yeah. And you're 14. It feel like it's a war zone because there's too many kids getting killed in the streets and bullets don't got no names. But Alexander says each victim has a name, and each child has a future, as long as they're encouraged to do the right thing. In Peoria, Kelly Watson, News 25.